Hey, how you doing? Adrian here with bestformyfeet.com. Have you ever wondered what can happen to your suede slash nubuck uh, work boots if you put them in the washing machine? Well, as you can see from the video, I did exactly that and I want to share with you what happened. So let's get into it. If you're here for a quick answer, let me tell you that everything went fine, except that when uh, once the boots got dried, the leather uh, seemed to have lost the suede effect, if you want, you know, that smooth, smoothiness, if you want, of the leather was gone, and that got scared me a little bit. Uh, I managed to fix it, and I'm gonna share with you how I did that, but first, let's uh, get uh, into the video and talk about how to wash the boots in the first place, how to do it safely, and, uh, you know, both for the boots and for the machine. So the first thing I like to do is to brush off the boots. I want to make sure that there's no stones or there's no uh, concrete, uh, especially if you work in construction uh, like I do. You want to take all those um, residues out of the boot. You don't want to have that in the machine. It's going to damage the machine in the long run if you do this uh, too many times. Make sure you take the laces off and, um, you know, brush all of it uh, properly as well take the insole out uh, that i mean is not going to be helpful for the insole for sure because they got that they get uh, damaged um if you wash them if you soak them in water but as well it's gonna wash the boot much better in the inside cool so now we have the boots ready we need to make the machine ready and as i've learned from the previous time I washed the, my safety boots in the washing machine, I'll leave a link in the description and maybe a card up here somewhere, uh, where I washed my Timberlands uh, steel toe in the washing machine. And um, because they are heavy and because they have steel toe, uh, well, they, they gave me a little bit of a dent in the drum of the machine. Uh, so I've learned that I should uh, probably put some extra towels in there just to um, avoid these dents as the boots spin inside the machine and uh, that helps a little bit more. The more towels you put in there, the better for, for your machine, the safer for your machine. I wash the boots on the short programs, 15 minutes, 30 minutes and very, very important, do not use hot water is not only gonna damage the leather but also it can deactivate the adhesives that you have in your war boots and that will make the boot fall apart and uh, you don't want that for sure so keep that in mind All right, so there you have it. After 15 minutes or 30 minutes, whatever program you have on, on your machine, the boots are washed and they look okay to me. Uh, the only things that worries me, and this is something that I look all the time, uh, as I said earlier, the, the, the these boots, they have adhesives. Uh, most of the boots, they are cemented, constructed. That means that there's... Um, the sole is attached to the upper of the boot by using adhesives so uh, it's it's very common to for for the sole to come out uh, because the adhesive doesn't hold up anymore so that's the only thing that worries me when i wash uh, my worst boots in the machi washing machine um nothing happened here looks all, all good uh, i checked the boots and also the machine doesn't seem to have any dents as in the uh, previous uh, video which is always great to see okay so now the boots are dry as you can see in the left corner that's how the boots used to be before i washed them you see these uh, patterns you see this smoothiness of the leather you don't have that anymore i mean i don't have that as you can see there's nothing happening it's the the leather is stiff and uh i was uh a bit upset about that <laughs> So here's how I fixed it. What we basically have to do, we, we kind of have to reactivate that smoothiness if you want. So for that, I'm going to use uh, a, a hard-ish 
um, brush, not as smooth as the one that we used first to uh, to clean the dirt, but we're gonna use the one that we used for the outsole. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna uh, brush the boot in one direction only. Um, I don't know how to explain this. This is like kind of like uh, bringing back the pattern, if you want. I don't know how to say, but I I think you can already see a little bit coming back. So you just have to do, don't have to do this too much. Just uh, do it for you know for a couple of minutes um, on each side of the boot. Make sure you do it on the tongue, at the back, on the heel, uh, everywhere. Do this for both boots. Once you finish with the boots, the last step will be now to apply some mink oil. I prefer the spray, the spray mink oil. Uh, you can use liquid mink oil if you want, but this one it's easier for this uh, process. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that if your work boots are yellow, kind of like mine or any kind of uh, uh, light colored uh, leather, make sure that when make sure you're happy with the fact that once you apply mink oil on them, they might become darker than the originally was before you wash them uh, so if you're happy with that go ahead with this process if you're not happy then don't use this because it might make your boots darker so apply the uh, mink oil um, again abundantly don't be shy the boots really need some mink oil now after we wash them and got soaked in water and um, once um, once you finish with the mink oil just take the same brush that's uh, hard and keep doing in the same direction keep brushing in the same direction as you did before you applying the mink, the mink oil do not change the direction uh, this will help to bring back that smooth uh, pattern that you know is so characteristic uh, on suede and nubuck uh, leather and that's all there is to it. I hope this is helpful. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Let me know in the comments below if this is helpful. Let me know if you used this technique before. If you washed your leather uh, suede or nubuck in the washing machine. What happened? And um, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.